Hey there guys, MGS Genesis here, back with another 7 days to die video. So, between this one and the last one, we have finally finished the tower. It is all finished. I also added a new mod, a unnecessary but beautiful mod is what it's called. And it just adds a lot of items that, let's face it, you don't need in a horde night. Or at all in an apocalypse. So we're on top of the uh, skyscraper, we're going to come downstairs. We've got a bit of a farm going up here, we've got some aloe plants and some... I can't actually say that, so we're just going to call them paint plants, because that's what they make, paint. So we're going to come through the double doors, which the new mod added. So we come through here into the stairwell. So we're going to come down the stairwell and through these double doors, it's a nice little pool area, somewhere to kick back, you know, have a barbecue, go for a swim, why not? I will admit, putting this swimming pool in was a pain. It kept flooding the uh, top floor, but I eventually fixed it. And then through these hatches, this is, I guess this could be plan B, because if this tower gets taken over, I'm hoping I can survive in here. So I've got a few chairs, some guns just in case. This top floor is stainless steel, so hopefully it'll last a few hits. But if it doesn't, then I guess I'm just going to die. Looks like I need to paint that block there. Looks like I've missed it. But we come back into the stairwell. There's no door here or here. You'll see why in a minute. And then we're going to come through these doors. Now this... This is the penthouse, and everything in here is what the new mod has added. So straight away, we come into the kitchen. Nice little kitchen area, got some ovens, a couple of fridges, plenty of storage space in here. So we'll come around this way, we've got a nice little dining table. I haven't laid out the chairs, must have forgot to do that. Come through here, got a nice little seating area, a few books to read. Nice TV, but we haven't got much signal. I suppose we could play Seven Days to Die if we wanted to. Come around here, we've got a nice little another seating area. Another dining table. With chairs this time. And then we come up here. We've got two bedrooms. They're pretty much identical. In this room, we've got the bathroom. Nice little shower, you know. Wash off some of them guts or something. Come through here, nice little bed, another TV, maybe we'll play a bit of seven days. Or we could come into this room, maybe stream a little seven days, you know? Why not? Stream seven days in seven days. We come through here, and we've got another room here, but it's identical to the other one. So we don't really need to show you around there. So we're going to come out of here, and then come down. So in here, we've got all our like equipment, so workbenches, chemistry stations, um, what are these, table source, yeah, there we go. And a little kitchen area, you know, just in case you need to cook a few things. And then, come down here, and this is where all the items are stored. So, you know, we've got the wood, stone, sand, bit of everything, some guns some ammo, bit of everything, plenty of health items and then we come down to the lobby now nothing's changed in the lobby I didn't see the point but we have kinda changed the outside a bit we've given it a nice little paint job added a little pathway and we've got a little damage here which I might have to fix at some point but I think, guys, we are ready for a horde night. Now, the plan is, I'm going to rack it up to either the hardest difficulty or I'm going to see what my computer can take and I'm going to set it to spawn as many zombies in as possible. I want to see this place fall. I want to see the zombies break in, trash everything. Because, let's face it, if all else fails, I can jump down to the basement jump in a car and just drive on out of here and nothing's really changed in the basement either 
I have added a new, another new car. Just another 4x4. Four four. I thought, why not? We've got all this space, so might as well add another one. Because, you know, why not? One's good, so two must be better. So, we did finish the roadway that goes all the way out to the sea. But, since they've released Alpha 19, now I know it's experimental, but I might start again on it. I haven't decided yet. There is a part of me that wants to carry on this world and make another building out in the middle of the sea. But at the same time, I want to see what new they've brought out. What they've done. But I've been playing a lot of Satisfactory at the moment, so I might end up uploading a few videos on that as well. So, yeah. But the next few videos to come out of this will be Horde Nights. We're going to test the base. I might even wait for a Horde Night and just camp out in like the uh, panic room. See what happens. Will they get to me? Who knows? But it'll be interesting to see. I will admit though that I got rid of all the trees in this little town. And I love it. It looks so much cleaner. There was also a part of me that wanted to go around and fix up all these buildings. But I have to progress with the game. You know, they brought a new update out. Maybe it's time to move on. I put all this work into this save, but maybe it's time to blow it up and move on. So that's all for this video, guys. It's just a quick update before I release the videos of the Extreme Horde Nights. I mean, I have to record them first, but we'll get there if I can stop playing Satisfactory for five minutes. But yeah. So far, it's going really good. So, I will show you some of my stats. So, at the moment, I'm on 8,387 zombie kills. Game stage of 774. Now, building this and managing to get most of the upgrades, I've not died. So, my longest life at the moment is 136 hours. Um, I can tell because I keep getting, like radiated zombie spawns and that's all I seem to get. No normal zombies anymore, just radiated zombies. But it's fun. It makes it for a challenge. But I've got plenty of ammo, so I'm hoping everything that I've got will be enough. And that's it for this one guys. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.